I've noticed that about you guys, that you make the headlines for being normal. I know we've been places and they go, you're really nice. <laughs> I'm like, what, am I supposed to be awful because of the acting or the fame? I think it's crazy to think that you wouldn't be normal. I mean, things are blown up and created and it's this illusion of what it is and then projecting, I think, a lot of stuff, what it is to be a movie star, that you have to live in this ivory tower or and something. I think Australia is a, has a different... Um, relationship with the whole concept of stardom or I don't think we cultivate rightly I don't think we cultivate or celebrate the star system nearly as much as they do here and it's it's the cultural. Tall poppy we have in Australia mm. yeah mm. and that's what I love about Australia we're very egalitarian and uh, you know there is on a movie set no difference between the guys here holding the boom or the guys sitting in the chair we're all just sort of doing our thing and it, it is a very different atmosphere on a set in America. I mean, I'm, when I first started on a set, I used to feel very uncomfortable because half the people wouldn't talk to you. They were literally kind of, they were told not to even look at you. Really? Basically, don't interact unless they interact with you because <laughs> it's the actor's space and we right. serve that. Mm -hmm. And it's very different in Australia. Taking that to here, I mean, why people seem so charmed by you as a couple and as individuals is that you don't play the stars or you don't seem to play the stars. It's not what either of us wanted and you know, plus we're parents too. I would like them to see in a way what I saw growing up. You know, parents work, they do their job and part of society but uh, there's no hierarchy. This person's more mm. special than the other mm. or anything like that.